Hi, I'm Sudarshan Krishnan, Associate Professor of Architecture at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. My presentation today is about the iconic Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. The design team comprised of uh, HOK Sport as architects, Bureau Happold as the structural engineer, and uh, Uni Systems, who designed the mechanization for the operable rooms. So as you see, the, uh, the striking part of this stadium is the operable roof. To the left, you see the roof in its open position, and to the right, in its closed position. So that's the moving part. The rest of the portion below are static. There are five different foundation types that are used in the structure, depending on the soil type and uh, the loads. The stadium is a segmented oval 385 feet by 310 feet in plan, and it is 305 feet tall. The stands are made of reinforced concrete and a robust network of steel trusses forms the supporting structure for the operable roof above. There were several shapes contemplated for the oculus, two of them circle and elliptical. And finally, the elliptical form was chosen uh, because it reflected the shape of the field below uh, much better. As a result, there was no excise symmetry and the resulting network of trusses, which were supporting the operable roof, uh, had some challenges, both structurally and uh, from construction point of view. So the main structure included 19 mega columns. There were four fire primary trusses, four other secondary trusses, and a set of eight other uh, secondary trusses with tracks over which the petals, eight of them, move. So the result of uh, the uh, no, asymmetry led to some significant uh, intricate joints, one of them which you see over here. And uh, there were approximately 850,000 bolts that were used in the entire structure. Steel strengths of 50 KSI and 65 KSI were used. And uh, even the newest jumbo size uh, section, W14 by 873, was employed in the structural system. This is a sectional perspective to give a better understanding of how the columns some of the columns are laid here and the static part of the structure below with the operable part forming just the tip of the stadium. There are two ways in which uh, operable roofs in the, with the petal mechanism can be uh, uh, conceived. One is having the plates rest on a deployable ring made of uh, scissor units. So these scissor units form the supporting system and also the stiffening system for the plates and the movement of the uh, deployable ring uh, will initiate motion in the plates and finally open the structure, open the oculus to its full capacity. So this is one method. The second method is just having the plates slide along their edges. And that was employed in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So uh, I'm taking a simple uh, regular polygon instead of an, uh, a segmented oval just to demonstrate the idea that what appears to be a rotary motion of the roof is actually linear motion of the plates. If you follow along the lines, the plates are actually moving along the lines. So this keeps the mechanization simple and also construction. So now coming to the shape of the roof and the uh, petals themselves, there were four distinct set of petals. Because of the elliptical oculus, these petals were not of the same size. The petals opposite to each other had the same dimensions and geometry. Now each petal is framed along its length in plan along the top edge, along the center, and along the bottom edge with a depth of 30 feet at the heel and a depth of four feet at the tip. Now the lengths and the widths of the petals are different because there are, like we saw in the previous slide, there are four sets of uh, petal geometries and sizes. And as such, they, there is a range in their dimensions. But let's watch the supports now. Under the action of gravity load, support B will undergo compression and support A may undergo tension. So the, so the bogies that actually carry the petals or move the petals have to be designed keeping that in mind. And we'll see that in the subsequent slide. Now here's the bogie. There are six uplift bogies for each petal. And if you look at the wheels, they are placed on the underside of the rail. That's because of the uplift uh, aspect. But on the gravity side, 
the bogies are on top of the rails and there are, they are eight in numbers. So this GIF is a good uh, uh, image to understand the linear motion, the linear path of the pedals. Now the petals move in sync and during motion, the supporting uh, trusses deflect approximately five inches. And also note that because of the different sizes of the petals, the petals travel at different speeds over different uh, track lengths. And the maximum speed of each petal is 30 feet per minute. And the system, uh, the entire system opens and closes in less than 10 minutes. In conclusion, the concept of iris mechanism, the design elegantly extends the concept from a camera scale to an architectural scale. The operable, operable roof is certainly the striking part of the stadium, no doubt. The ingenuity of the design lies in its design and mechanization. The motion of the petals had to be carefully planned and uh, designed so as to ensure coherent movement of the petals and other parts. There were structural and mechanical challenges due to the asymmetric uh, created by the oval-shaped oculus. And tolerances were critical with regard to movements that occurred in the roof during construction as well as under service. So with this, uh, I end my presentation. Uh, thank you very much. These were some of the references. And here's my contact information.